guys it was 10 o'clock at night okay i wasn't home and he was like miss man and i'm like oh uh miss awadata lukhu kab not take class or whatever my dad was like Confidence is very tricky, but I feel like confidence is something that continuously needs to be worked on. I feel like confidence is like exercising at the gym. It's like making sure you're eating healthy because that one slip of like self-doubt or one slip of like doubtful thoughts and stuff like that will like kill your confidence. I'll, I'll literally speak in Tigrinya and think I'm speaking it so fluently with so much gusto and then I'll have the other person being like what did she just say and these are family members these are like my family that literally sometimes don't even understand my chagrin it's like wow for real but I'll have the full-on confidence of being like but I thought but I sound just like you <laughs> like you know what I mean but that's not that hasn't stopped me and one thing I want to say because a lot of you guys keep asking me how do I even learn Tigrinya? Number one, clearly I'm no professor, but I do want to say what has helped me is trying to practice every day. My mom, my dad can hear me speak English just fine, but it's another thing to be like, all right, well, I'm going to try to speak to them in Tigrinya. And whatever i'm saying that may or may not be right they can correct me while i'm saying it like for instance for a really long time i would get awalid and awadat confused so when i would say when i would want to say like a group of girls i would say awadat <laughs> it's like my mom would be like awalid like sis like what are you what are you talking about whoa let me tell you this one story okay so i was in university and then my dad hit me up and he was just like oh second like and i'm like oh but about to library and he was like oh okay moments men guys it was 10 o'clock at night okay i wasn't home and he was like miss men and i'm like Oh, uh, Miss Awadata Luhu Kab not take class or whatever. <laughs> My dad was like, What? When I tell you, we laugh about that story like it's nobody's business. Like we laugh about it because again, I was confident in saying I would that Miss I would that luhu. For those that are watching that know my dad, like I could have got. I really he ha, like with no doubt. If I knew what I was saying and my key didn't work that night coming home, it would make sense. But literally, again with confidence, I thought I was saying a group. I'm with a group of girls. I literally said I'm with a group of guys and it's 10 o'clock at night. Like what? <laughs> like, bro, but again, like that was years ago and I'm still, I still sit here. I still stand tall and I still speak to Grinia because again, we're all learning. We're all trying and that's the major thing. We are all trying. And if you guys watched my latest video with Timby about let's talk about periods because nobody talks about it. I shared with you guys what my sister says to me with one quote that you should just try one more time and that literally has resonated with me so much like with any little thing if something is not working properly and I've had it and I've tried like 10 times 15 times or whatever whatever sometimes you just need to take a breather and get back and just try one more time again we get so frustrated and we want something to happen and something to work so immediately that we forget that hey it's okay like as long as you keep trying it'll get done like a lot of people say rome wasn't built in a day and stuff like that but it's true like you weren't built in a day you were built for like nine months so think about that you have a month and a half of 2019 and i've been seeing a lot of people talk about 
2020 and 2020 is gonna be this and 2020 is gonna be that it's gonna be my year and all that may be true but mama you have literally so many days left out of this year and i'd like like i understand you guys might think it's like a write-off because like the holiday season once you blink it's like done like this, the, the year's over but if you plan a goal outline how you're gonna get there and it could be tiny like for instance for me i'll be open about my goals my goals are to upload on youtube and i literally mapped out what i'm gonna be uploading when i'm gonna be doing it how i'm gonna be recording it when i'm gonna be editing it and things like that do you know how many times i've gone back and forth in my head and said okay you know what second like 2019 is already a wash like it's already done like just do this for 2020 a lot but like i said in the beginning of this video when you are in your own head it's like that's it it's a wrap like you're in your own head and like that's when that's what you need to get out of once you like for instance even recording this video the washer was going off there was a truck right outside my balcony the lighting situation wasn't up to my liking. There were so many external factors that I try to use as an excuse. And I'll put like a couple clips in where I'm just like, okay, you know what? I kind of don't want to record it. And it happens to the best of us. It happens to everybody. It's okay to relax and obviously not overwork yourself and stuff like that. But also sometimes it's like, girl, you know, you're, you know you don't need to watch another season on, on Netflix. You know, you know it's it's still gonna be there, but you also know that you need to get up and read that chapter. You also know that you need to get up and fold your laundry. Everybody feels like 2020 being a new year, new me, new goals, new this, new that. But we see it like when we go to the gym. If you go to the gym in January, or even if you're interested in doing some research on how many subscriptions for gyms will happen and then by march it's crickets even february i want to say like it happens so what you want to do is you don't want to use um a new year or even like and i'm at fault for this too i'll say to myself oh, i'll start it on monday monday i'll start it i'll make sure because monday's a fresh week girl Start it on Thursday, just stop bugging. Like you're literally putting excuses in your head and you've, and you've justified it and it's not cool. Before I decided to actually do YouTube seriously and be consistent, there was a point where my camera was just collecting dust on like my shelf. Like it wasn't cute, it wasn't cool. Like it was really annoying. And I would look at it and some way, somehow I would justify it in my head to being like, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do it uh, after I uh, get this one thing uh, done. Oh man, but I need to wash the. I need. To, I need to clean the bathroom. Oh man, like I don't know how to do this. And then let me just let me kick it with my mom for a little bit. All right, cool. So I'm. I'm gonna watch like somebody's wedding and stuff. It was like, girl, like come on. Just like you obviously have goals. You obviously have something to offer this world that's gonna be like huge. So just do it. Like you don't just like. It doesn't have to be YouTube, it could be like a, a career thing. Like maybe you're really invested in um, getting a promotion at work or you're really invested in completing a certification or whatever. Those things will lead up to so many opportunities to, to chalk it up to, oh, I'm gonna, you know, not do it. That's not cool. I really want to encourage you guys to try something new. If you are basing what you're doing on somebody else's goals or somebody else's opinions about you then yeah you're kind of doing it for the wrong reason to be honest i encourage you guys to get out of your own head when it comes to trying something new or trying something that you've been thinking about for a very long time because what we all fear of is failure at the end of the day so what we don't want to do is try something and then fail at it but you kind of have to like think of failure as like like if for instance if i were to spill this tea it wouldn't be the end of the world i would just spill it clean it up and then make another cup of tea like that's the only thing i can think about and i'm not trying to be all serious in my videos and trust me like the gabby season series it aren't going to be serious topics but i feel since a lot of especially young women talk and ask about how to be confident and what to do to build their confidence. I feel the one thing that has helped me is to get out of my own 
head. One of the major things that stopped me from doing YouTube years ago was being on camera without any makeup on. For instance, like I had a big issue of like leaving even the house without at least concealer because I was so self-conscious about my dark circles. And I feel with a lot of East African girls, like the number one question I get uh, for makeup and um, skincare videos is dark circles. I built such a wall, if you will, and I just felt like Oh my god, I can't, like I have to make sure I have makeup, I have to make sure that I teach myself how to do makeup because I can't be seen in public without makeup. It's all in my head, I know, but I also want to share that whatever is stopping you from doing something or doing something that you always want to try, I promise you is in your head as well. So when it comes to confidence, guys, think about it. Think about just trying, think about just trying again. Even, again, I can't even explain to you guys, recording this video, sometimes I feel we even put time timelines in our head of our age. I feel sometimes we go, oh well, I'm too young to do this. I'm too old to do this. Says who? I feel like when I run into people that watch my channel, honestly, major shout out because literally I get shocked every time that there are people out there that watch my channel and then I, I end up running into them. But when, especially young people, especially people around like my age will be like, man, I wish I can speak to Irina. It's like, <laughs> ma'are, girl, you can literally tomorrow if you wanted. Like, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like nothing is holding you back. Well, I, w I, I remember I was on Instagram live and I was telling people that I want to teach myself Tigrinya. I want to teach myself how to read and write again. And I um, had a children's book because it's made for children to learn how to write and read and stuff like that. I'm a grown ass woman holding a children's book and I'm trying to figure this out. You know what I mean? And it's like, why do you discourage yourself? You're putting yourself at a disadvantage. You're putting your, you're, like you're, you're not giving yourself an opportunity if you look at something just because it's like, oh man, I'm too young to do this or oh man, I'm too old to do this now. It's like, no, you're not. Like you can literally do anything, anything. And it's incredible how we put ourselves, a, how we give ourselves a disservice of not knowing that or not feeling like we can do that. I, I just wish we would stop doing that and I just wish that sometimes when it comes to confidence, when it comes to um, engaging with other people, it's like, girl, guy, you have so much to offer. Share it. And trust me, for a really long time, I was super reserved. I was the last one in my family to like open up a Facebook account. Twitter, Twitter, wait, Twitter, I just opened two years ago. And to be honest, it was to impress a guy, so. <laughs> like, really and truly. But like, I'm really reserved and it might not come across that way because of the way that I speak on YouTube and things like that. But like, you literally have to practice like you were to practice building a muscle at the gym like you were to practice eating healthy it doesn't happen overnight the work that goes into it is a lot but it it is gonna be fulfilling at the end of the day when you think of like junk food it's satisfying but it doesn't make you feel good in the long in the long run it's just instant gratification but it's not gonna help you or encourage you to do something better in the long term like you know what i mean so stop with the junk food and the junk food is an analogy of like your self-doubt is fear is like everything that is stopping you from trying something on i promise you guys i did not know how to edit a video i did not know how to edit a picture prior to starting on youtube i use youtube to do youtube you feel me it's just out there it's it's there it's for you it will happen, whatever it is that you guys have in mind. I'm using YouTube as an example because that's what I get asked a lot and that's what I'm currently doing. But really and truly, you don't need a fancy camera. Really and truly, you don't need the best lighting. I'm using like zero lighting right now. I have no fancy lighting in this room. I have a gabi and a cup of tea and I'm talking to you guys. When I was a kid, I had, and I'm not trying to say this to get any sympathy or whatever, but I had a, I had a huge problem with uh, speaking in front of people. I just had a major problem with it. Like I wouldn't, I hated it. I didn't like doing it. 
I didn't want to do it. It didn't make me feel good. I was not good at it. And that's why I didn't like it. So I figured, okay, well, if I don't like it and I'm not good at it, I just won't do it. And I feel we do this for everything even as adults, but as a child, it was like amplified. In the school system, they make you do presentations, whether it's with a group or whether it's by yourself. When it's with a group, it's kind of like, okay, we're all up there. So it's like, give me the smallest part and I'm, I'm your girl, like, you know what I mean? But sometimes when we've had like, when I used to have to do speeches and stuff like that, it was the worst, like I got the worst marks and I just didn't know how to figure it out. So with frustration, I would come home, you know, emotional and I would talk to my mom about it. And she was confused because she's like, well, you're not like that at home. So why are you like that at school? And she would tell me to read in front of a mirror. And that's exactly what I would do. I would read the speech. I would read the book. I would read whatever it is that I was supposed to read for the next day in front of a mirror. And that's what helped build my confidence to present in high school, to present in university and things like that. And to present even on like small uh, community events at church and whatever again I encourage you guys to understand and to remind yourselves that it's not a process that happens overnight it takes years before doing YouTube before YouTube was even a thing me and my younger sister would do fun funny Turgunia videos at home like we would pretend like we were Elsa Kirana and make a funny music video and we would present it to our families when everybody was home on Sunday. And then they would have the biggest laughter. So I wanna remind you to keep going because when you guys give me encouraging words and tell me to keep going, it really makes such a difference. So I'm hoping this video, I'm hoping this series gives you guys the confidence. I'm hoping this series gives you guys the reminders of what you guys need to hear. Please, again, I encourage you guys to let me know what topic you want me to talk about next week. I will have somebody with me next week, so <laughs> it doesn't have to be a serious topic. It can be a fun topic. So just let me know what you guys want me to talk about in the next Gabi season series episode. I guess this is episode one, so the next one will be episode two. Anyway guys, I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias, and if you guys like this, give this a big thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you're subscribed. It's easy, peasy. Just make sure you're subscribed guys, it would mean so much to me. And again, don't wait till Monday, don't wait till January 1st, start whatever it is that's on your mind right now. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.